Freya Christie would um, vouch that I probably have the worst smelling feet on tour. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jodie Burridge, and these are my five tour essentials. My first tour essential would be my Beats speaker. I literally don't go anywhere without this, partly because it also charges my phone as well. Um, so it's kind of like another battery pack. Um, but I listen to it, I listen to music quite a lot um, as soon as I wake up when I'm going to bed. Um, and it also gets me ready for matches and stuff. Sometimes it's a, a bit more pop, sometimes it's a bit of country, actually. Um, I have a little bit of a different music um, type to most people. Um, but yeah, it kind of depends what mood I'm in. We listened, or I listened to Khalid for like a good hour. Well, this week it's a pack of Uno cards. Um, I actually do have a normal pack of playing cards as well in my um, tennis bag. But with traveling a lot um, and having a lot of downtime and in between matches or in between practices, we have a lot of time to just chill. And yeah, I quite like playing cards with a few of the players or my coaches or whatever. But no, I mean, I don't know who's best. We all win some, we all lose some. It's just how it is. If you were to ask Liam Brody, he would definitely say himself, but that's because he cheats the whole time and only tells us after. My next tour essential would be my, they're very dirty by the way, so please don't judge, um, but my Adidas shoes. I'd never go anywhere without this pair of Adidas shoes. They're just so comfy. Um, they're basically like wearing slippers. Um, I also have my Stan Smith Adidas ones as well, but these are ones that I like to travel in. So I'm quite boring with my trainers. If you literally, if you put them all together, they're all probably white with a little bit of colour on them. If you ask others, I think they would say that, yeah, especially with my ankle braces, my tennis shoes, they have to be outside. Freya Christie would um, vouch that I probably have the worst smelling feet on tour. <laughs> My next tour essential, I've actually got two with me, um, are my sunnies. Can't go anywhere without my sunnies. Um, I mean, luckily tennis kind of follows the sun. Um, so it's always it's always good to have a pair. I always quite like having two, like quite like switching it up. Um, actually, I recently went to South Africa and because the sun was so strong out there and I had some quite long matches out there, my eyes were actually a little bit sunburned. I know that sounds a little bit stupid, but I, I didn't know that could happen. Um, and putting on a pair of sunnies for either the rest of the day or just some, some parts of the day um, actually really helped for them to get a little bit of downtime because the sun out in South Africa was so strong. So I have my Ray-Bans, um, which I think are a little, a li they look a little bit cooler, but actually I got these ones from Sun God and I think like the skiers and um, other athletes who actually wear sunglasses to play sport, they use Sun God because the lenses are so good. I can't even wear a hat on court, it distracts me. So sunnies would definitely be a no-go. Last but not least, this is a little bit different. Well, actually, I'd say my tour essential would be the dangly earrings. So I start, I'll tell you why, I started wearing these in lockdown, obviously when we weren't playing tennis, um, I could never wear these before. Um, and while I was doing my fitness and everything in lockdown, I kept them on um, and I quite liked like fiddling with them while I was doing it. I mean, obviously with the fitness, when you're tired or whatever, I quite like it kept me kind of in the zone and on basically when I got back on court, I mean, I won quite a lot of matches when I came back from lockdown. I kind of think they're like a little lucky charm. Um, I always bring a little jewellery box away with me. I actually got this for Christmas um, from my mum. It's got a little J on it um, because I definitely need a few pairs because sometimes they actually fall out on court, um, which they actually did. I think I, one of the points I remember was when I played Joe Conta at um, the Battle of the Brits, when my shoe came off on one of those points, also my earring came out at the same time. Um, so definitely need a few pairs with me um, in case I lose them or anything like that.